Now to the Trump presidency. President Trump spent a good portion of the day yesterday golfing at Mar-a-Lago in Palm Beach. Now he also found some time to fire off tweets, stirring up some of Washington's most fiercely debated topics. President Trump took aim on Twitter Tuesday at some of the most polarizing issues facing Capitol Hill. On the Russia investigation, he cited a Fox News report that investigators can't verify claims made in a dossier circulated over the summer. Compiled by a former British intelligence officer, it contains allegations of Mr. Trump's ties to Moscow. The president called it a, quote, crooked Hillary pile of garbage. That's how this has become such a hyperpartisan issue. They're trying to discredit the findings before they come out by pointing to flaws in the process. President Trump also went after Obamacare, writing in part, the very unfair and unpopular individual mandate has been terminated as part of our tax cut bill, which essentially repeals over time Obamacare. Evidence suggests, though, that public support for it is far exceeding expectations. I would like to see a commitment to this program so that there's stability. In the Obamacare enrollment period that ended December 15th, there was a drop of just 4.4 percent from last year in the 39 states that participate in the federal health care.gov marketplace. That, even though the Trump administration cut the enrollment period in half and did far less public outreach. And according to one nationwide analysis, Republican states are signing up faster than Democratic ones. 62 percent of the people who enrolled in Obamacare this year live in red states that voted for President Trump in 2016. And in yet another tweet on the tax cut bill, the president said it, quote, will be a great year for companies and jobs. The president also predicted continued success for the stock market in 2018.